In my last video, I modeled the computer and the monitor, and I want to get started on texturing this, uh, working just on the, the brick wall itself. And these bricks may not look exactly like those in the reference image. I kind of want to do something a little bit different and show you uh, sort of a particular technique. So um, I'm going to come into UV editing here, and I'm just going to focus just on the walls, and I'm going to select everything i've got no seams in here at all and i'm just going to press u unwrap and i am going to get this now what i want to do is i want to have all of these pieces going uh horizontally so i'm just going to take these two and control l and i'm going to uh, rotate 90. and i'm going to take this one control l rotate 90. with those like that i'm going to select them all and I'm gonna press N because I use UV Pack Master to pack. You could use Blender if you want. And I just want to uncheck Rotation Enable so that they're packed just like that. And that's all I want to do for the moment for this. Now, to create the bricks, I'm not even gonna bring in an FBX into Substance Painter. Instead, I'm gonna take a, just a plane that I made in Blender and brought it in. It's not even subdivided, it's just like that. And I'm going to build the brick texture on here. And I'm going to apply it in Blender, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So um, I don't even need to bake any mesh maps right now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a fill layer. I'm going to use color, height, and roughness. For my bricks, I'm going to bring the roughness up quite high. I'm going to bring the height up to 1, and the color will just start whatever. So we've got that now. On this, I'm going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale of the fill, I'm going to use the brick generator as opposed to the tile generator this time. I'm going to use the brick generator. Start bringing up the histogram, thing like that. Now you can start seeing that they look a little bit like, like bricks. The offset is already there. There's already a little bit of a bevel, and that's great. So I'm going to come down here to the pattern, and I'm going to choose, I think... Uh, Let's try 4 and 10 just to set this up, okay? Because they're a little longer like that. So we'll go, we'll go with something like that. You can play with any of the settings uh, that you like, but that's actually all I need to do for this part right here. Now, uh, let's, let's label this as bricks anyhow. The next thing I'm going to do is on top of this, I'm going to add a filter. And the filter I'm going to choose is the Blur Slope. And that is going to start to sort of deform or chip into our bricks. I'm going to switch this blending mode from Blur to Min. And I'm going to take the intensity divider and bring it up to 100. And can, you can play with the intensity and you'll start seeing what's going to happen. But I may use my own noise to do this chipping. There's nothing wrong with that. But I just want to try a custom noise. I'm going to use Clouds 3. And then up here under the source type, I'm going to switch that to custom noise. And then I got to come down and I got to play with the balance until we start to see the effect of this. Okay, it's starting to come through there. Not really much difference, but uh, you can also adjust the, the quality. You might prefer a, s a certain look to that. But I'm going to bring that up and just play with this balance. Until I get something that looks like, you know, the bricks are starting to get eaten away a little bit. All right, now, the next thing I want to do is I may add a little bit of a blur. Let's try that. Filter blur. And like just like 0 0.25 or something. Just to soften that harsh sort of bevel on there and everything. We'll bring the quality up in just a moment. I'm at 1024. No, I'm at 2K. Oh, good. That's where I want to be anyhow. Okay. So we've got that, and then I want to add some more surface detail on here. So I'm going to add, let's see, another fill. Not there. Uh, right on here, this way. I'm going to add a fill, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to choose cells 4 for this. And we're going to uh, bring the scale up pretty high so we get that and some disorder. And um, 
decrease the balance a bit and then let's try here I'm gonna put this on subtract and just drop this quite far down so we just start to see some some dots in there let's try invert no we'll leave it on there decrease the balance a bit so we have a little bit of surface detail there and there's going to be more um, I think on top of this I will do something else so let's do that let's do a fill and I'm going to use just height drop the height down to maybe halfway for now and a black mask and a fill and in here I'm going to use fractal sum is this is four here four so I don't know if you saw what that just did and sometimes I'll, I'll come over here and I'll put on the color and just choose like red so you can start to see what's going on here um, and what I want I actually don't want that color on there uh, what I want to do here is play with this just to get some like rigid sort of ridges like thing and indents in, in the bricks so they look kind of wobbly that kind of a thing right there you can just play around with this as much as you want to that's kind of what I'm going for uh, so let's call this uh, just noise or whatever damage really all right so that's good and then just decide you know you want the height that much you want it more I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to use, let's try concrete simple to drop it on top there and let that, let that load. Okay, that's not the one that I want. I'm bringing this back to 1024 for a moment. And let's try just this concrete simple here. Just to give some some variations, some scratches and stuff. And then again, that's not the color of the wall in the reference image. Just bring that up, whatever. Say we go with something like that. Okay. Now I'm not at 1024, or I'm at 1024 right now. But here's the thing that I want to do. Um, I want to sort of bake this height and normal information in to my model. And so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna bring it to 2K and I'm going to give this a name. I've already called it Corridor Bricks. And when you export, um, Substance Painter exports a normal, of course, and it'll have the impression of the brick. So let, let's have a look at that. Let's go to Export Textures. I'm going to choose PBR Metallic Roughness and that's fine and I'm going to choose PBR metallic roughness and choose where I want it to be and I'm just going to go ahead this is called corridor bricks I'm gonna go ahead and export that okay now if I come over here and I have a look that's the normal I want to bring that back into uh, substance painter so I'm gonna grab that corridor normal corridor bricks there it is and I'm going to set this as a texture for my current session so here it is I'm going to come now over to here and I have uh, I haven't baked the mesh maps yet so I'm going to drop that into where the normal is and you can already see something going on now I could actually shut that off I don't need that information uh, I'm going to shut that off for the time being I don't care about this one and I'm gonna bake the mesh maps but I'm not gonna bake the normal and I'm not gonna bake ID and thickness normally you'd bake the normal but I'm not going to act 2k all right that information that you can see in the normal is now baked into things like the curvature now if I put this back on I will just accentuate what I have and I, I sometimes like to do that we'll see what we prefer what I want to do now is I want to just drop this color just a little bit it's a little bit darker 
so that I can come up here and I can add another layer of just color and a black mask and a generator and I'm going to choose curvature and I'm going to start dropping the balance and I've now managed to sort of highlight the outside of my bricks and that's what I wanted to do there so you can do any other effects that that you want to you know, putting you know moss on here or color variations or anything like that if I put the damage back on, it may be a bit too much, but we'll try it anyhow. And we'll come over here, and we've still got our height. If I take that off, then this is, you know, without that height information. So let's have a look at it like this, and then we'll try the other. So I've called this corridor bricks. I'm now going to export again. All right, and I'm going to export into texture test. That's fine. In fact, let me... Uh, let me create uh, a new folder. Blender, uh, do I have export corridor? Okay, let's create a new one. Let's call this texture corridor. So I've got the actual textures I'm going to use. There we go, texture corridor export. All right, save that. And now we'll come over to Blender, to the Shading tab, and we'll just focus on the wall. Okay, and I'm going to, I'll call this just Bricks. And shift Control t and let's go and find our texture here. Texture Corridor. There we are, select them all, Principal Texture Setup, and we have this so far. All right. Let's head over to here, and I want to switch this. I don't want height. I want uh, base color. It's a little bit easier, although it doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn on the uh, material preview here, and with this stuff like that, I'm just going to press S, and I'm going to globally scale. And what I want to achieve is not to go that fast. What I want is I want 10 bricks vertically. So let's see, I've got one, two, th or 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven. So let's keep going. Uh, let's go to there and I can hold shift to move a bit slower. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite there. Let's go up to here. You can also do this and then G, Y and move it so that we get more of the of a balanced look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, all right, let's have a look at that. Let's come back to layout and material preview and let's switch to this one. The lighting will be very important for this, obviously. So this is what it's looking like right now. All right, not bad. Now, the one thing I don't have is a brown stripe. I, that's easy to do. I can do that another time. But let's come back to Substance Painter, and let's go, where were we here? Let's just put the height back on, and let's save, and let's export again, and we'll see how easy it is to reload this. I know there's a bridge that you can use to do it even faster, but I'll just do that. I export them. I'll come over here. Uh, come into the shading tab and press N, choose Node Wrangler and scroll down and just reload. You can see they got a little darker. So, I don't know, but I kind of like that look for what I'm going for, but it's really up to you. Um, but the bricks, I think, look reasonably good, whether I stick with that color or make any changes, I don't really know. But that's one way to get your bricks to stand out uh, you know, relatively well. And then again, obviously, depending on the, uh, the lighting, which will have a big influence on things. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. That's the bricks, and we'll come back. We'll do some more texturing, and I'll show you with that brown uh, line on there, or I'll just do it, and uh, I'll do it with you. Okay, take care.